Welcome back to another episode of the Metaverse Guy podcast. Today I want to discuss how metaverses implement data security and data privacy. Uh, that's a very big concern. Web 2.0 uh, was, uh, you know, it, it uh, had a lot of tech monopolies who uh, controlled all our data. Now Web 3.0, which is a core part of uh, metaverses, we will discuss how it implements this data security and data privacy. Now, uh, the data in a metaverse is stored uh, in a decentralized fashion. And this decentralized is achieved through blockchain. Uh, now, blockchain, as we all know, is, is, is a public database or a public ledger. And the immutability of uh, this uh, database is what makes it different from other centralized uh, databases. Um, so a blockchain basically is a chain of data records which are called blocks. So these blocks are uh, chronologically arranged one after the other and hence the name blockchain. Uh, the security of data in this decentralized or, uh, or this blockchain is achieved in two aspects. The first is at a block level and second at a network level. So first discuss what the block level is. Uh, so when you have a data record or a block, uh, three very important elements of our data storage, hash and previous hash. Now data storage typically is all the information that the block contains. So let's say if it's a transaction, uh, this block will have the sender's information, the receiver's information, the amount that is being transacted, date and time, so on and so forth. Uh, and this block will also have something called as a hash. Now a hash uh, is sort of an identification mark of this block. And uh, how this chain is formed is when, uh, so, so uh, when a block of a new transaction is being added to a chain, it checks the previous hash and the current hash and if they match is only when this data block is added to the chain. If these hashes do not match the, the hash of this new transaction and uh, previous blocks trans uh, 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 hash, if they do not map, then the transaction is invalidated. The important part about hashes is that uh, a hash's value depends on the data is stored inside the block. If this data is tempered with, the hash will also change. Now, if the hash changes, it will not map with the previous block's hash and hence this data block will be marked as invalid. Uh, another point about these hashes is it's different from encryption. So while an encryption uh, can be decrypted using a cipher text, a hash is only a one-way uh, uh, encryption which cannot be decrypted. So all this basically gives a block level uh, uh, data security. Nobody can temper this data because if you temper uh, with a data block, the hash will change, will not map with the previous hash and hence no transaction. Second is at a network level. Now a blockchain basically is a distributed network. The data is distributed ag uh, across various nodes of uh, the chain. For any new transaction to happen, this transaction has to be validated by a majority of these nodes on the blockchain. So if anybody has tempered with their own database copy, okay, the other nodes, when this transaction is uploaded onto the blockchain, the other uh, nodes will not validate the transaction and hence it will not happen. Now for any hacker, uh, if they hack one uh, a node, but it's extremely difficult or nearly impossible for them to go to various nodes across the globe and hack all of them so that they will validate this invalid, uh, invalid transaction and hence your data is extremely secure this way in a decentralized fashion. And that is why the Web 3.0 core of a metaverse gives you 
uh, peace of mind because your data has been stored on a Web 3.0 decentralized blockchain. I hope that information has been useful to you. If you have any other questions or queries, do reach us out on uh, on our on our website, uh, uh, on our emails, etc. You can reach out uh, reach out to us at Queplin or at Watson. Thank you so much, and look forward to meeting you in the next podcast. And one more thing, for a detailed information about all these aspects, visit our audio podcast channels on Spotify, on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. And uh, listen to our uh, audio podcast there. Do give us your uh, feedback. That's very, very important. Thank you so much.